functions we can say function as a block of code which uh, only runs when it is being called called in the sense like till now we have been work working with the inbuilt functions of your python right like print rest all the functions type integer converting the things str and all right so these are the functions basically which works when you write some parameters or when you write something or when it is being called basically right so when we pass any data which we also call as like parameters right so when it gets run it calls a functions okay so function can return you data as a result and you can pass any data in form of any uh, parameters into a function and it only runs when you are going to call it okay now for creating your functions it is very easy to uh, create it or we say basically it's very easy to define a function now defining a function basically let's take def okay you are defining and let's say a new function you are defining so a new function now what functions you are defining is going to be user defined functions okay so you have to write it like new def new function then put a sorry and put a parenthesis basically that means for your function and then give a colon that's it okay and just one minute more okay, okay. just a minute okay deep. so def new function and then you can press tab my tab is not working for now uh, you can uh, press your shift plus tab to look on after you make a function then you can uh, press it shift plus tab to see what exactly the function working is okay so like def new function i'm making and you can make this function for anything like uh, we can just print that whenever this function is being called it will print that this is a new user find function very good can you just run this that's it this is the working of uh, defining a function right so like uh, now if I write new underscore function and I run this I'll get this printed that is this is a new user defined function very easy right this is again uh, let me connect me the external keyboard so that I can show you how tab works. Okay, let's see if it works. If I write new underscore function, shift plus tab. Yeah, it's working. So once you press your shift plus tab, you'll see that this function is like a signature here. No doc strings are there. Doc strings are like when you write functions, importance, and all those things. We'll be getting up there. Okay, so we can get those things there, and then okay, let me run this shift plus tab. Yeah, and in which file it is having, right? So this working, and you run this, you'll get this, right? Now when we uh, this is a method how you are calling a function. Okay, so calling a function basically means to use the function name followed by the parenthesis using the function name followed by the parenthesis like if i say print function what print functions does right write this so what it does there is a doc string you can see right and you can go ahead with all the uh, things written inside the print function right so type is built in function see and uh, things are being given like it print the values to a stream or sys dot s dot standard output by default right so values separators okay and plus things are there you can close it So this is like creating a function and then 
calling a function. Two things, easiest ones. Okay, move on. Now, inside a function, sometimes you call some arguments and some parameters. So, those are the data, or you say the informations that you need to pass through the functions, right? So, the informations that we pass through the functions are called as arguments. Okay, so here I write it. Arguments should be called as data passed into functions. Okay, so these data are specified. Okay, with your function names inside the parenthesis, and you can add as many as arguments the more you want like okay but you need to uh, separate them actually right and you can separate them with a comma right so let's make a function def uh, function like this and uh, let's say some m function multiplication function okay so uh, or let's say user function and here in this place you can write your arguments right so uh, let's say um, any number number taken from the user and we'll print number equals to whatever the user enters okay like that so this is the working of this function if it's a user function, uh, see, now you run this and you find a type error that gives you that user function missing one required positional argument that is your number, right? Uh, otherwise, you can go with the shift plus tab to see that it has a user function and inside this parenthesis and if it gives something like that, yeah, it's a type of function which is an uh, user defined functions. Okay. So here one missing data is there, so you need to fill it like if I say 5 and then I run it. So number is equals to 5. Mm -hmm. So that is how it is. Now you can write anything like uh, user. Now these are very much useful when you will be going through the projects. I'll give you some sample projects how to go. Like if I say user function 10, so number is equals to 10. Understand, right? So these are user defined functions you can make calculators a lot of things using this so arguments are often shortened to uh, say as like a r g s sometimes you'll find a r g s sometimes in quads and all okay all right <clears throat> now uh, when we say arguments and when we say data and when we say parameters all these are same basically okay so if we see it from a function perspective, we'll say that a parameter is a variable listed inside the parenthesis in the function's definition. And the arguments will be saying it as the value that is sent to the function when it is called. Right. So number of arguments can be given as many as we are going to give. Right. Now let's say um, in the same function, user function here, if I make some changes here in this below here. I say number one, let's say n1 and n2. So I'll say here number one is equals to this and number two is equals to this, right? Now this could be this. like this okay so if we call user function and run this two missing requirements okay now let's say six and seven so again number one and number two is equal to number six so where is the number seven and put a num oh okay
number one equals six, number two equals seven, like that. Okay. So as many as you want, you can make it there. Okay. So these are the things. Now, sometimes there can be some keyword arguments. Okay. So that can have some value syntax or okay like uh, if i write a uh, simple example the function okay and parameters if i write they like n1 n2 n3 write the largest number now for the largest number you have to uh, go with some of your you know some logics to define you can use if and else to get out all the things number n1 greater than n2 n2 greater than n3 and you can get out with the results okay like that uh, for now i'm giving n3 that's it because I will be entering in such a way. So if I say my underscore function and I say one, two, and three, obviously the largest number is equal to three. Okay, like this. So you can give the keyword functions also, or you can have it like uh, let me write it. Def my function. Uh, just writing this okay so let's say here company equals to IBM All right so I'll print uh, I work at plus your company right so this is the line if I say my tab function, so my function, and I say uh, like whatever, okay. So for now, if you just run, you will get I work at I. Okay. Some sort of changes. Okay. Um, next time, if I say my function, and I say here Google, it would be I work at Google, right? So parameters has given some values now these parameters works like how I'll show you like we'll be giving some basic knowledge of numpy and pandas they will show you how these are being made okay like if you say uh, some starting and stopping this works how exactly in ranges now if, if you say um, I work at some 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 companies right so some any different companies you can write in there. So I work at some company say again okay that's how it goes now uh, you can pass a list of uh, elements or you say the data or the arguments or the parameters in your functions okay it can be a string numbers list dictionary anything okay so like uh, if again create it i will write that mm, some new function again And let's say if we write some list of colors, okay. So creating a just a basic loop so for i in your colors. What you'll be creating, you need to print your i. That's it. Okay, and you would be taking your colors. <coughs> so colors would be, let's say, red. <coughs> Green, blue, <coughs> Sorry. and white. Okay, these are colors. No. Now, if I write 
new function of colors so we'll find red green blue yellow white now even if it is not equals so basically what is the difference that there is a parameter now if some parameters come here inside this function what should be the working it should go inside the loops that's it that is the working of this function okay right so like this you can make a lot of uh, your own functions and you can go with the things now instead of printing every time we can have something different uh, word that is called as returning the values so if you want that your function must return you something so you, you would be using a statement called as return statement like if i say multiplication function M1. If I say f m n, okay, and I taking parameters x and y, so I need to return x multiplied by y. That's it. Very simple. If I write multiplication of some numbers, right? If I just run this, you'll be getting two n like this, right? And you can go. I have to see what exactly how it works. So this multiplication is another, right? So if I'm doing this, oh, okay. so multiplication of two comma three will give you six. It will return you the values, okay? Like this, uh, I have given you one thing like a pass statement, right? How pass statement works, okay? So functions definitions, right? Define uh, definitions. Pass statement is just used as a null statement. We have seen also, right? so if you don't have to do anything, you can just give pass because that will do nothing. We have seen it, right? So these are the important things inside your functions, right? Okay. Okay. So. If we go through the different things like working on the lambdas the functions i think is clear right now we'll go with the lambdas and next we'll be looking at the next things just a minute now like very really similar to this function something is there called as lambda now a lambda is also a function you can say right so lambda function is a very small anonymous function okay so it can take any number of arguments like in the functions we were giving right so it can take any number of arguments but the expressions what we are writing here like this right expression should be only one Okay, so like syntax could be, we can write as many as arguments, but only one expression. This should be kept in mind. Very important. Only one expression. Okay, like a very simple. I'm making it there, right? So if I have x is equals to lambda, you'd see it, how it works. If I say i equals i plus dot, let's just take it dot. Okay. I print x of uh, hello. It will give you hello dot. It very simple. Hmm? So basically, what are you doing? Just uh, think it as a function. Like if you see it, something as uh, taking lambda i and then inside this. Think it like this. Okay. So what the work is just i plus dot. That's it. So any parameters of i would be 
just being added with the dot and you are writing x of this function uh, basically x is your function you think like that right so x is your lambda function and x of i you are giving as hello so very simple it is i guess right and the example i will give you like uh, multiplication we just did right so we can take some uh, m is equals to lambda functions okay and we can give some two uh, variables in x and y and we would say the working of x and y is just to x multiplied by y that's it and now we would be printing at m of 2 and 3 gives you 6 i hope it is clear right lambda of x and y just the same thing just only there is a def definition um, changes right so ml of x and y return x multiplied by y same thing see lambda of x and y just you have to return this see this is your return symbols and return x and y and just print it there using the function you are using ml23 here you print m of 2 and 3 and you will get the results okay additions you can do it like uh, lambda now you want to add some 2 3 5 numbers you can a b c d right so these are a lot number of your arguments now you have to give only one expression so you can what you can do is a plus b plus c plus d you need to print a d of like how many 1 2 3 and 4 so i get the result that is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 like 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 10 okay so now you might have question why do we actually use this right so the power of this lambda is better shown like when you use them as an anomalous function inside some other functions right like if i say def uh, function and returning a lambda function okay so like um, some subtraction i'm doing s minus uh, any parameter if you take it here let's say i the parameter s minus i okay now you see it how it works if i say my function and i take five uh and this minute oops sorry there needs to be some function over there. It has to be make in doubles. Just a minute, just a minute. Oops. Do you do? Okay, I think I have written it will also not work i guess we if you nction function of i is main function lambda yes okay fine yeah now if, if the same function i use here let's say this function of five let's say okay I print my tables of 10 you get 5 you get exactly what how it is working so i is s is your basically a number what 10 is here is your s okay and you are subtracting at the 5 with that and you're working with it so lambdas are basically used as all in your various projects and all when you go through right the same it goes with the dates uh, math modules and date modules these are important okay so exactly how these goes okay all right now uh, we'll come down to the arrays and we'll learn exactly how it is so arrays are basically used to store some multiple values in one single variable like we used to do with lists okay and it is very 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 much similar to the list if you compare okay so if we say it creating an array
So I'm creating the colors. So this is an array. Hmm? Uh, if you say right. So it is a very special variable that can hold more than one value at a time, like a list. Okay. So uh, like if I say it uh, colors indexing, you know, right? Zero, one, two, three. These are basically arrays. Now these things are used very much in uh, the next uh, libraries like in NumPy, in Pandas, in all these things. There these are used in very much you know, sorts. And but there you have to import things like okay, let me write as I import. These are a package libraries. Okay, basically used for numerical python right so there we used to basically go to the arrays there we define that this is an array of a numpy okay so like numpy of array of one two three four five numbers are there okay here you say array of one two three four five it is not defined right so you need to define other things right if you go with the arrays help of what is an array they get the model array completely things over there. So this is array how it works, sign, integers, type codes, yeah. because array has got a lot of things to do. And you'll find some basic methods of the list even like count, extend from bytes, from list, from unicodes, index, remove, reverse, two bytes to file, to list, to string, right? So these are very much similar to your, um, you know, like list, and programs might be there, I guess. You no. Know? Yeah. So some links are there. You can go with the links too. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, this link. You can click on this and you can get to it here. Right. So array dot append something into import this array. Like I have imported numpy array. In the same manner okay so i would be taking import your array done you say array of one two three four five numbers the module is not callable right so okay sorry that is not needed because i can just take it like this still it's not needed.
depend, depend where it is. It is not there. Hmm. Why it is not working now? Alright, uh, I have to look on this why it's not working. Okay, uh, let's go to the math module. Let's learn that. We'll look on this one. Okay, now this is a module inbuilt function, right? Okay, okay. So basically, what we do in the math module is finding square roots, finding maximum, finding minimums, cumulative frequencies, standard deviations, okay. So the built-in functions for this math one is your, uh, your minimum and maximum variables, finding up the things over there, absolutes and all, okay. Like if I say a lot of numbers are there, one, two, three, four, five, something. Now, if you need to find the minimum of this, you can get one. So you need to find the max, you can get this easily. You need to find uh, some square roots. So you need to do math.sqrt. No, that's not exactly this. You can take any of them, like, let's say eight. So you get the values, okay? Or you can take some absolute values, or you can take some power functions, math.power function. 2 to the power of 3 gives you 8.0 okay like that and you can get seal or you can get floor this seal for question will be coming in your microsoft examinations so there is a function called as seal basically that methods uh, rounds a number upward to its nearest integer like if you write nearest integer right so math dot seal of Two. It would be 2. Now if it is 2.3, nearest integer would be 3. Right? So not lesser than the number. Try to understand. Okay? If it is 2.1, nearest would be still 3 because it cannot return you the less number. Right? Not less than the number entered. 2.9 would be also giving you 3. Okay. So, what is the right maths.c of minus 2.4? Giving you minus 2. Because minus 2 would be the greatest number. Right. You will be getting this question in your Microsoft examination. Surely you will get this. Next is your floor. This rounds a number lesser than to the nearest integer. And like if I write uh, 2.5, sorry, so we're getting 2, 2.9, 2, minus 2.9, minus 3, okay, 72.9, 72, <clears throat> and if it is 72, we get 72, like that. And if you're finding any square roots or you are representing some areas, pi r square and all, so you begin with pi, math of pi multiplied by some radius, let me be 2.5 a square. That's a result. And Sometimes uh, for representing these things mathematically, we say pi r square, something like this. Okay. Now, these are the symbolic computations, not very important for you for now. Okay. 
okay uh, so these all comes in the math module you can go with the things you'll find the directory of math module and get to know a lot of things over there so we have tan sine cos exponents right factorials f sum close infinite not a number a remainder radians a square root and all you can go with anyone using this uh, let us say what pi function works what is pi what is math dot pi so it basically is a type of float and string form is 3.141 and it converts a string or a number to a floating point number if possible and rest is not given what is the working of float oh, sorry you can look at this so return the floor of x as an integral and this is the largest number or integer less than equals to x so you have to go through so how you are going to get this shift plus tab don't press enter because you, it will be run right you need to go with the, those things okay so i guess uh, things are clear till here like all the modules and then let's see what all rest modules are being left i think some email sendings or uh, some try and accept error cases would, would be left that would be doing tomorrow and uh, what is there web scrapping maybe or something else xml parsings and all that will do okay enough of that so one more class and uh, two more classes and then we'll be going through the projects okay so i'll give you how project works and then you can make your own projects to go through right so okay so any doubts in whatever we have discussed in all your modules till now let me stop the video